So who responds to Kuvan and how is responsiveness assessed? We've already said that not every patient does. And the reason for that is for you to be able to respond to Kuvan, you've got to have some molecules of that PAH sitting there waiting to be activated or energized by the cofactor BH4. And some PKU patients, because of the nature of their mutations, they don't have any PAH. Basically, as soon as it's made, it's fall, it falls apart or it isn't manufactured at all because of the message on their individual genes. So it depends a lot on that, although at this point we can't look at the mutations to tell who responds. We know that you've got to have a little PAH remaining. So the way we really determine who responds is to put you on the drug and see what happens uh, to your blood fee levels. And responsiveness is typically defined as a clinically significant decline in the blood phenylalanine level on the drug. Uh, in some cases, it may also be demonstrated by showing increased phenylalanine tolerance in a patient. So if we have a patient with a very low level of fee anyway coming in and in the blood, maybe their blood fee level is uh, 1.5 milligrams per cent or 2 because they're on very tight dietary therapy, it may be difficult to show that they're responding to Kuvan simply by looking at a decline in the blood fee level. We may have to see if we can add more phenylalanine back into the diet to demonstrate that indeed they are responsive to the drug. Now when you do responsiveness testing, it's extremely important that the diet be consistent throughout the time that you're measuring the blood fee levels because we don't want to have two things going on that could be lowering your blood fee level. So we don't want to be making diet changes and we need to have the patient remain very consistent with their diet and of course we have to assess that with diet records. We typically use a starting dose of the drug of 20 milligrams per kilo per day. So the bigger you are, the heavier you are, the more pills you get, and you take it once a day in the morning. And to look at responsiveness, blood fee needs to be measured at baseline, right when you start on the drug, and at several time points after you're on the drug. So just before you start taking it, that's your baseline. We typically use 24 hours, one day, one week, and two week blood samples to assess responsiveness. Our patients mail them in from home. I know it's done differently in different parts of the country. And then when I see all of those levels, baseline and three more, I look at them and I say, has there been a clinically significant decline in the blood fee level? If there's been no change, basically, the diet's been consistent, then we say that patient's not responsive. But if the level does drop down nicely, that indicates response to the drug. Uh, 